welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on makeup brushes and it's my very first time to do reviews on makeup tools instead of makeup products themselves and I think it could be really helpful because I know a lot of you when you um, buy makeup tools then you usually just stick to one instead of buying different alternatives and then you don't buy another one until you actually replace it with something else and so it's extremely important to really understand um, different brushes type and what they are good with and so hopefully this video can help you so the first types of brushes that I'm going to talk about is foundation brush and I have three different types here the first, let's go with this. It's a very basic item and I like it because um, it's pretty thick and big as you see. So it's really easy to go in and finish the job, you know, very quickly. And it's pretty soft, so it's not harsh on your skin. And what I really love about this is that it really brings out the natural features of the product that you're using. If you're using a liquid product that's very moisturizing, it's going to bring that glow on your skin. And if you're using a very matte product, then it's going to bring out the matte texture. The next is this, sort of like a mini version of what I showed you. Of course, the shape is a little different because it's angled. The best part about this brush is that it's so small. It's like... <laughs> the size of my finger, the length, and so it's just very portable, you know. It's an item that you can even pop into your pocket. The next we have is this, actually my favorite out of the three. I, you know, of course this is something interesting. You've probably seen it on a lot of YouTube videos and it looks like brushes that you see on the in kitchen or toilet. Applied products very matte, which is the kind of finish that I like. Even using the most liquid and most moisturizing foundation that I've had um, this gave me this kind of finish so there's no glow it's very mattifying right and the hair is actually really soft um, a lot softer than the basic brush that I showed you which is surprising because it looks really harsh right so with this brush I can use the same product that I have and avoid the oiliness of the skin so I think this could be a really good option if you have oily skin like me after foundation concealer is the next step and concealer as you know is really hard to apply unless you have the right brushes because the texture tend to be a lot thicker and dense compared to foundation and so the next brush that I'm going to recommend is this one a dual brush for concealer this little brush that I show you here you can go into the little imperfections and dark spots very easily this side is good for under the eyes and stuff wider area for concealer again this is um, sort of like a solid hair um, because for concealer you need that like strength in order to um, apply the product evenly and so this is again a very basic product but I don't have any complaints about this so this is the kind of brush that you can get if you're using concealer next we finally have eyeshadow brushes and I have several types it's called eye base thick and flat so it's easy to just apply a base shadow on all over the lid after you use it you're going to use this brush it's got this shape <laughs> so it's easier to go into the corners of your eyes like here eye blending 311 again very easy to tell the function of it if you're a newbie to makeup because you use it to blend out right blend out the corners and the crease the next is 312 and it's called eye point again very easy to know its function guess what it is <laughs> eye point I mean if you have to find the point in your eyes it will be like here or here yeah it's going to be like corners of your eyes and then under right so this is the right kind of product for that because it's very as you see small it's actually very flat and very short so it's good to go into that delicate parts of your eyes and then just highlight to open up your eyes the hair is stronger and more solid than the um, shadow brushes that I showed you before if you're doing like highlighting they tend to be more pearly if so then it's better to use like dense hair to apply and so this is the kind of product that you will like to use after eyeshadow of course is the eyeliner the life of my makeup 320 and it's eyeliner brush it has this shape that's quite universal for a lot of brushes it's pretty thin 
and it just has this like sort of round tip. Honestly speaking, the shape that I prefer more is more pointy and like thinner um, and taller type of brushes. But I know this is universally a lot more flattering and universally loved. Bobbi Brown's um, gel eyeliner is I think by far the most famous and their brushes also are very famous and damn they're so expensive they're even more maybe expensive than the gel eyeliner but anyways this resembles the shape exactly and this is like less than half the price so if you're looking for a universally flattering sort of like eyeliner brush then this is it so we've covered all of that um except for blushes which i love a lot so this is 140 powder brush um, and I use it, of course, you can use it for translucent powder, but I use it mostly for the blushes and it's just really good uh, because it has this angle shape uh, and it's so soft, it feels so good. But anyways, how I like to use it is simply dab on the product like this. I don't go in like this or like at angle, but I go in vertically like so and then just dab on like here. And I think it gives you that original texture and pigment of the product. So that's what I really love. I think I showed you like eight to nine different brushes. My favorite will be this and then this. This is just so perfect, so soft and everything. It, you can dab on, you can smear on, and it's just quick and so mattifying. And then the next is this. To be frank, this is not a unique brush i probably can find a lot of alternatives for this so it's easy to be replaced it's not about this particular brand but this is the kind of brush that i like all right so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video again i think these brushes are very basic and like solid items that you can always fall back on what was most confusing for me when i started was the eyeshadow brushes you know because you don't really know what to use and they have very different shapes and sizes um, but most other brands their naming is very simple like angle brush or like 307 407 409 blah 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 so you know you don't really know what they mean so unless you're already skilled it's very hard to use those brushes for the right purposes but this one these brushes from Etude House, they're very easy because it just tells you exactly what it is. So I think if you're a makeup starter, make it makeup beginner, and then these are the kind of brushes that you want to use. And so hopefully this was useful to you. Um, I'm going to make a second version of makeup brushes review on a foreign brand and it's going to be Morphe brush. I genuinely love love the brushes look forward to that video that's coming very soon thank you very much for watching if you like this video please press thumbs up and subscribe to me and be the family and don't forget to check out and come visit my instagram and social media and comment down below if you have any questions regarding brushes please let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye